Okay, so on this question, they've got a couple of inequalities <clears throat> and they want us to uh, graph them on this system, on this graph. And I'll show you at the end of this problem how to use the actual graphing tools, which we're gonna to need to use on this one to get this answer. But for now, let's just move forward and solve them. So the, so the first one's gonna be a lot easier uh, than the second one. So let me, let me grab this one and just bring it up here. So this is y greater than or equal to three halves x minus four. Okay, so uh, where do we start? Well, remember y equals mx plus b, right? We, we start out here and we start here. Start, and this is where you put your first dot and this is gonna be down four in the middle. So this is gonna be right here. At negative four. You seeing that? Mm -hmm. Start down four in the middle, right there. That's your first dot. So whatever's off to the right, that's your first dot, and it's right on the middle line. You know, it's not it's not sideways, it's not back four, it's down four in the middle line. That's your first dot. And then where do you go from there? Then the fraction here is your rise and your run. It's how you get your second dot. So now I'm gonna go, they're both positive, aren't they? There's no negative signs there. So I'm going to go up three, one, two, three, over two. There's my second dot. I went up three, I went rise three, run two, up three over two. And then, so there's our line. Now I'm going to connect those. And this could be a solid line because we have a solid bar. Solid bar. So that's going to be a solid line. So I'm going to connect those two with a solid line. That there it is. Now I'll show you how to do that on the graphing tool in a second. So um, there we go. There's the first line, and um, and the shading. Now it's a little tricky with the shading because what they're going to really want you to do is shade the overall answer in the end. So for now, let me just do it by hand, and um, when we're done, I'll show you how to do the overall shading on the, on the graph. So wh where's the shading on this one? Well, it says greater, right? Why greater? Greater is above, lesser is below. So I'm gonna shade above, above. The shading for the blue line is above the blue, isn't it? Like that. Okay, greater is above. Now, let's grab the second one. Now, the second one's gonna be a lot more work. Grab this one, bring it over here. 4x minus 2y greater than or equal to negative 4. Now, the first thing is we have to get y alone. Remember that? This one does not have y alone. So we have to, we have to get y alone. So what are we going to do? Well, let me write that. Get y alone. So the first step is going to be I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. So boom. And then we have minus 2y greater than or equal to. And I'm going to put the x in the front. Okay. That's just usually how we see it. We don't have to. All right. Um, next, we got to divide through by the negative 2. Now, does anybody remember what has to happen right here? Remember? When you divide by when you divide by a negative, what do you have to do? Switch the sign. Yeah, you must flip the symbol, huh? Yeah, right there, right then, you've got to turn the symbol the other way. Does that make sense? When you divide by, see how I, I put a negative under the bar? No, so not, not when you divide by a positive. Not, if, if I was dividing by positive two, then do not flip it. But if you divide by a negative number, if you put a negative number under the bar, you've got to flip it. Now, I'm not talking about subtracting. Like, look here, in step one, I subtracted. You think, well, there's a negative. You didn't flip it yet because that's not dividing. That's just subtracting 4x, right? There's no bar there. 
right? I didn't go divide by, divide by, did I? But here I'm dividing by, dividing by, dividing by a negative number. When you divide by a negative number, you must flip the symbol the other direction. And so then what do you get there? You get y less than or equal to, and then you get here, now here, look here carefully. We have two negatives. Four divided by two is two, it's gonna be positive two. And same thing back here. Uh, they're both positive two because they're both two negatives, right? Two negatives make a positive. Two negatives make a positive when they're multiplying and dividing. And four divided by two is two. Four divided by two is two. So now we got y alone. That was our first step. Get y alone. So once you've got y alone, then the number off to the right, that's where you start. And that's always in the middle. So that's going to be up to in the middle. So I'll start right here, up to in the middle. And then the other number, remember is your uh, slope this this you got to put this over one you got to make you got to make the number in front of the x look like a fraction plastic surgery make it look different without being different same value two divided by one is still just two right dividing by one doesn't change anything but now we have two numbers and um so we can identify rise and row so that means i go up two over one there's the second dot Here's the second up, up two over one. Hmm, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to actually find some other dots uh, just because I want it to be a little more up two over one. You know, on the, the graphing tool, do it for you automatically. Let's see, where would this have been right here? Um, would have been right. If I keep the dots going, be right here, right? Because that's you know, up two over one. So, oh goodness, I want to be accurate. There it is. There's that line. So it looks like those lines are coming together. Now, um, am I going to do a solid line or dotted? This is, um, whoops, keep bumping this. This is a solid, solid bar, solid bar, solid line. So I'm going to make a solid line here. Looks like those lines are coming together way down below the graph, doesn't it? They're going to intersect. They're not parallel. They're going to intersect, but it's kind of further down where they're going to intersect. Okay, so where's my shading on the red graph? Where's my shading? Well, it says, um, it says below, right? It says, let me see here, y less than or equal to, y less, less is shade below, lower things are below. So you shade below. So I'm gonna come over here and shade below the red, the red line. Shading under the red line. There we go. Okay, so I shaded, notice I shaded above the blue line, right, that orange, and I shaded below the red line. And so where do they overlap? Right in the middle, right in here. Nice. We shouldn't scribble all over my graph. <laughs> Uh, or here, maybe I can do a highlighter. Yeah, I'll try that. Uh, try yellow. Uh, try a bigger. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there's the answer, huh? Because the shading is in the middle. In this one, anyway, that's between the two lines. Okay, so there's our answer. Now, how do you actually do this on the graph? I'm going to show it. I'm going to literally show my, my graphing tool and, and do it. But let me say a few words beforehand. You, um, you're only going to shade this middle part in the end. You're just going to graph one line, graph the other line, and then click the middle, the final overlap shading region. Because in the end, in the very end, there's only one region that ends up being shaded. It's where the two shadings overlap. And that's, in this case, the very middle. Sometimes it's below them both, above them both, to the side of them both, whatever. All kinds of different things can happen. You just click the final shading. Let me show you. Let me share my screen. All right, here, let me, let me 
go there myself real quick. This is number five. And okay. Okay, you're seeing my screen now. Um, and so, so this is a different question than the one we just did. So I'm going to have to just kind of do it on the fly, but I want to show you how the tool works. So the top one up here, y greater or less than or equal to negative three plus one. So I'm going to see the tools down here. I have two different tools. I got the dotted line maker and I've got the solid line maker. Both these are going to be solid lines because in my case, I have, see this up here, solid bar right right in the middle there solid bar so this is gonna be and so is the other one they're both solid lines so it's gonna be y less than or equal to so it's gonna be solid line start at one so i'm gonna use it i'm not gonna use the dots i don't want to use this one not that guy no clear that this guy that makes oops i got the wrong one here this guy there we go that makes solid lines and shading right that guy okay so here we go. So I'm gonna go, okay, y less than, so negative three, so start at plus one, boom. And then the negative three is negative three over one, so go down three, I'm just gonna do this on the fly, over one, boom. And now which side's the shading on? You just click whichever side. It says y less, less is below, boom. So there's the first one. So actually, I, I'm, I was mistaken. I said that you're just gonna shade the final line. So it looks like you're gonna shade everything along the way. So there's the first one. Now for the second one, just keep going. Now this one, I'm just gonna have to tell you, well, I got to first solve it. I don't know. You know, I thought I could just look at it. Uh, let me solve it on my own paper real quick here. Or in fact, maybe. Oh, I thought it would be easier. Let me uh, share my iPad real quick and just solve that one. Okay. There's my iPad. What was the question? It was uh, 12x, oops, 12x minus 2y less than or equal to minus 12, right? Yeah. Okay, solve for y. So subtract 12x from both sides. So boom, minus 2y minus 12x minus 12. We're doing that right? Yeah. Divide by negative 2. There it is. I'm dividing by a negative. You know what we need to do? Turn the symbol the other way, right? And you divide by a negative, right? So that's y greater than or equal to now. Two negatives make positive 6x. This is x here, I'm doing things quickly. Plus six, there we go. So you start here, and then six over one, rise. You start at six and up six over one. All right, so back, back to it. All right, so here we are back to this. So I'm gonna have to start it up six. Oh, wait a minute, it's way up here, isn't it? And I'm supposed to go up six over, but I can't go up. So I'm going to go down and back and click right there. Does, does everybody see how that's working? I basically did the slope reverse, right? I, I kind of, I found the point before, because from this point, you would still go up six over one, which is what my slope is. Click. And which side do we shade? Well, in the end, it said greater there. We have a red and a blue. Let's see if that's right. Yes, it's happy. Did you track that? I, I, it was a little tricky. At the very end, I had to do that because it wanted me to start up six. Boom, I did, I did my first start right there. And then it wanted me to go up six more and over one. I couldn't do that. So I just did the same thing backwards. I just went down six, back one. You see that? So from right here, you can tell from this point right here at negative one, you, you could go up six over one and you'd be back to that middle point. So remember a slope just goes on forever. It's just up six over one, up six over one forever. So I did that. And then the shading, it said Y greater. So I shaded above that one. And so here's where the two shadings overlap. And so there we go. So I'll go back to my main screen here. There we are, back to that. There we go.